Good evening guys, it's Chris from DAXtrader.co.uk I'm going to do a quick wrap up of the market for uh, for today's trading. So I haven't had a trade on today for the DAX, I've been watching it all day with a bit of interest because it looks like something interesting might well be on the cards uh, for the DAX at the moment. Uh, intraday, if we take a quick look at the chart, you can see that um, we've been trading underneath the VWAP all day. Um, we've taken out all the major bearish levels again and we've had a, um, a, a, a decent go to the downside. We briefly breached the 92 level, which is pretty significant. I'll show you in a moment why. Uh, it was rejected and we've been hovering not too far above it uh, as the, the afternoon and evening comes in and, and volume starts to drop off, certainly as London goes home. So it's been an interesting day. There's been some announcements. Draghi was speaking earlier on as well. Um, we know the reasons why the market dropped off earlier on. Um, I had uh, somebody say that they're not too worried about what the news is. And it means nothing because you know, we just follow the price on the markets. And I guess to a certain extent I agree with that. But um, for me personally, I always want to know why. I always ask the question why so I can explain it for my, for my own personal benefit really. And... Um, yeah, we've we've had a, a a decent a decent sell off today. It could well still be a little bit of profit taking, so you might well expect that to bounce back. But I'm just wondering now whether this might be, like I might have said already, the start of a, a bigger correction now before we um, get to the middle of the month. So we've only really had one sell signal come in today. It hasn't changed. So again, I didn't trade it. I wasn't awake at that early, so I missed it. And I just have been a little bit reluctant to get into the trading today. But uh, again, I'm sure there's plenty of you that have profited from today. I know there's a couple of traders that uh, I, I kind of watch the comments on stock twits and um, a couple of names out there that I know are fairly bearish at the moment. So I'm sure you guys have done pretty well. Anyways, let's go and take a little look at a few charts on the dailies. And um, okay, so here's a daily chart for the DAX. We've got a pitchfork in there with a couple of different intervals uh, either side of the media, median line. And um, I'm pulling the fork simply from the um, high round here in January and taking it all the way down um, to these two uh, swings there. Okay, so. We know that uh, we experienced the high up here. We had a massive pin and a um, tremendous fall and then sell off down to the 16th where we had a huge volume day and it's bounced back up again. It's interesting here because we've got an Ichimoku uh, cloud and um, you can see that we've, the Kuma cloud is, is, we've got a twist. It's turned bearish and uh, we have stalled around about the level that the cloud came in so of course getting through this is always going to have a little bit of turbulence anyway but it seems to have actually bounced away from it and we're ending down to this um, this interval line here i'm wondering if we do continue from here how far we might go down and i think my first expectation would be to head on down towards the median line and um, look for some fairly big support down there but I mean that's around about the 9,000 level at the moment and that's a huge way to fall there's quite a bit of support that's been built up recently around about these levels but I would suspect on a longer swing trade that that could be um, a fairly decent level to look at and I think if you just I mean just by looking at it you can see that a fib line there would probably correlate or, or you'd have an area of confluence around about that sort of region so that's quite interesting at the moment um, it's sort of a basic technical stalling pattern has happened here it's run out of steam a little bit obviously a huge steepness of trend I mentioned it maybe a few days back that it's very rare that we've had a run that steep without some form of correction and this massive sell-off candle from today might actually be the start of that we had what maybe now does certainly look like a bit of a star that's developed here and you know just another reason why I think we might be going bearish for a few days uh, a little bit more zoomed in if we look at a four hour chart oh, there we go i've pulled the fib line here um i mean if we just went back and did that here and we i do the fib line based on the closes rather than the stems but you're looking at around about the nine thousand level if you do it on the closes which is the area of confluence with this median line if we did do it on the stems um it's a lot deeper it's 89 16. so um i like to just be a little bit more conservative than that um, and then so I would say, yeah, that could be an interesting area to go towards. Certainly the 38.2, you're looking at about 90, 80, 
um, but the 50 fib line a little bit further down okay back to the four hour chart interesting pattern that's developing here we've got a uh, head and shoulders pattern how strong that is yet to see but there's some again other areas of interesting confluence with this particular technical pattern you've got the left shoulder right shoulder that seems to have completed here and we're starting to see that drop and we've got a neckline vaguely around about the 92 level uh, it was kind of pierced but rejected and we've got this kind of spinning top formation on the four hour chart uh, four hour candle here um, uh, so we'll wait and see how that that closes if we break through the neckline it'll be interesting to see what happens from here because if you look at I don't know, the top of this candle down to there you're looking at around about a, what's that 260 points maybe and if you go from the neckline down to 260 points it takes you down to the 50 fib line pretty much it could be another interesting area of confidence that or a target to aim for so it just lots of different reasons why I think that maybe we're going to head down towards that line um, but I'm not sure on shorting it just yet because who you know we could be bouncing off this it could be rejected so I want to see a close below the 92 level before I'd even consider entering it for a trade and if we do get that I mean if we just were a little bit more conservative and say we're aiming for 89.75 um, and say we enter into a trade around about 91.50 you've got 175 points there um, to use and if you did this sort of a you know, 2.5 to 1 reward to risk you might want to enter in your trade um, at a relevant level there that you're not risking too much of your capital so stop loss would be above the neckline you'd want to try and see how many of those points you could actually collect even more drawn up let's take a little look at the hourly chart we had this wedge pattern that was forming towards the beginning of the day um, I mean if we just ignore this second horizontal here and just look at this one up up there I've drawn this because we've been trapped in this kind of range uh, for you know quite a few days now a couple of weeks in this sort of two three hundred point range um, a significant break under that will be interesting further move to the downside but I wondered whether we might just bounce around about the bottom of this level head on back up to this up underside of the trend line before we we head on down and that's an interesting trade opportunity for me um, so I might consider taking that if it does bounce back or follows this line so a couple of opportunities there uh, we're going to sit back and watch this I think for at least the rest of today and part of tomorrow see how the markets react as well oil is trapped we know how significant oil is to uh, to, 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 to businesses um, there was a bit of a bit of movement today uh, certainly in the lot on the four hour candle you see that we have breached this but it's been rejected and again we're just getting this kind of stalling pattern that's developing here so um, we'll wait and see if there's any kind of breakout from that SPX broke through its original wedge and now it's coming up to actually test the underside of that trend line now this is a bit of a it's an ambiguous trend line to say the, the most but we'll have a little look and see what actually does happen see whether it gets inside there um, to continue its bullish moves or whether it does actually start to bounce back down and kiss it goodbye um, we have just about threatened to break this kind of bull flag on the USD JPY and I considered going in for a trade here um, when it was getting around about this sort of level thinking we're just going to see it move way up but decided against it because I was ideally looking to try to get in at a lower level um, so we'll see how this pattern develops but I'm watching that one closely as well a couple of trades on at the moment nothing um, nothing amazing um, my euro USD trade is still going it's, you know again we're talking fairly small lot sizes here um, because I'm just wanting to see whether my signals work um, but back to 32 pips I'm not going to cash out for that I'm going to continue there's no point taking small wins because I've had to risk at least that when we were into drawdown territory so there's no point I don't want one to one um, two and a half to one uh, is what I'm after so um, I put in a couple of other trades today um, I cashed out one because I had a sell signal on the euro ward and I was stopped out pretty quickly on a pound yen trade earlier on got another pound yen trade open but uh, we'll have to wait and see whether or not that does get filled um, because I'm looking for it to come a bit, bit further down here that's the one that I, I lot got stopped out on uh, if I'd have actually had a 35 pip stop loss I'd still be in this trade but you know I had a tight um, uh, yeah 
I had a, a tight stop on it and, and then it got hit. So my overall outlook for this is is bullish. I think that you know if we do get a pullback to this kind of level, we're going to see a uh, move to the upside. So perhaps that would have been a nice entry. Right, maybe I've missed this move. And if I don't get filled down there, it's not the end of the world. There's plenty of other opportunities. I don't want to risk too much of my capital. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to go through. I'll just take a little look at uh, the major performers today. So on the DAX, lots of red uh, across the board. I think there's probably uh, Eon. I think, where, where are they? Uh, yeah, there we are. They were the only one that were expected to, in the early morning report, make a, a decent day of it today. And they have. Um, you know, nothing special, but you know they're at least a percent up, which is more than can be said for a majority of the other guys. So, um, yeah, we'll sit back and we'll see how everything plays out. Hope you guys have had a good day at trading today. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another update for you.